Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for part 7 of the Ravenport walkthrough for beginners. Now, I've just walked out into the farm a little bit. Get this lovely vantage point, this lovely view of our sunflower field. I hope you planted sunflowers because man, doesn't that just look amazing? It's one of the great sights in the game. Sunflowers and canola have really, really been done exceptionally well. And I love the look of the field just pre-harvest when they're all blooming. And you can even see these sunflowers heads are turned right up toward the sun. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, um, today, as promised, we are going to talk a little bit about animals. Now, we've got the sunflowers planted. They'll probably be ready sometime today. And I also, as I requested you do, planted the other field in oats like so they are growing quite nicely and i'm just going to check on them real quick to see just where we're at yeah we are in the final growth stage on both of those so hopefully those will be done about the time that we need them because we are going to need some oats today now like i said as promised i told you we were going to discuss animals and that's exactly what we're going to do and with a little bit of luck we'll discuss how to harvest these sunflowers also. So that's the plan for part seven. And to get us started, we're going straight to the shop. Now we're going to talk a little bit about placeables and what's available in the placeables category. Now, under the barn here at your top, you've got your placeables and we've played with this just a little bit. Um, different things that we can use on the farm. We placed a silo, if you'll recall. We placed a toolbox. We also have animal pens. And in the animal pens, you have the option for a dog house, which is a fun little thing you can add to your farm anytime you want to. You can interact with your dog a little bit. Um, just something to play around with. But more importantly, we have animals that will make us money. Now we have access to chickens, cows, horses, pigs, and sheep. And I think a really good starting animal for beginners are horses. They're not difficult to take care of. They're a little bit more complicated than say chicken or sheep, but it gives you access to some information for other types of animals, such as cattle or pigs. So, and horses make fantastic money. They take some time, but they will make you a lot of cash. So I'm looking at two different horse paddocks. We've got a large and a regular, and the difference is if you look at this little spot right here, you can see eight, and that means this will hold eight horses. The large paddock will hold 16 horses. The same goes with the others. A pig enclosure will hold 100, a large pig enclosure will hold 300 pigs. So that's the difference between regular and large and that's across the board chickens everything so we're going to look at placing a horse paddock now if i double click on this i'm going to go into the placement menu and what we really want to look at right now is the controls menu and you'll see right below back how much money this horse pasture is going to cost to place in this location now we know from looking at our menu that this is supposed to cost $50,000, but placing it in this location will cost $52,366. Why? Because it's taking into consideration how much the ground will have to be adjusted in order. You know, if I keep moving it out here on a hillside, it's going all the way up to 78,000. So trying to find a nice flat level spot for your placeables is important. And if I were to place it out here and spend the money, it's going to deform the ground and make it into a funky hill that's really hard to, to navigate and maneuver. So we really want to try to find a nice flat spot. Now I know from playing with this just a little bit that this is reasonably flat out here already. And I'm going to turn this around, but I just have to shift it enough to find the sweet spot just about right there. So we're down to 50,349. And if I just keep shifting it a little bit here, a little bit there, 
that looks pretty you know, I'll get back to that under there we go 372 yep 50,329 so that means the ground is going to be adjusted just a smidge somewhere but not enough for us to have to care about it so I am going to drop my horse pasture right there and you can see it clears out all of that ground and we place a nice lovely horse pasture let's go take a look so in our horse pasture we have a water trough that's this trough right here if we come around to the side we have a food trough that's this trough right here we come around to the back we have a loading area now we can purchase horses from here if I hit R it's going to open the animal dialogue box and you can see each horse costs five thousand dollars if I move one of these it's now going to cost me fifty three hundred dollars to move that horse there is a delivery fee attached something to keep in mind and we'll discuss that a little bit more these do have gates that will open it's not necessary to open them if you don't want to but it is available to you now one more spot that we have in our horse pasture this right here is for bedding so we need straw to put in that spot so that the horses have something to sleep on in whatever okay well we've got our horse pasture now what do we need well, we need horses obviously and that's going to take us back to our shop menu under our tools we've got two different categories for animals we've got animal transport and we have animals general animal transport has trailers in it for moving specific animals this particular first trailer is set just for horses and it will carry two horses at a time like so nice little trailer me personally I'd make sure it was in a Harv's World color but yeah now these other trailers will carry other livestock so this will carry six cows nine pigs ten sheep same with this one 14 cows 21 pigs 24 sheep you get the idea what's missing here is that there's nothing to transport chickens so in the base game if you want chickens you have to pay the delivery fee something to keep in mind with that said I want to look at the horse trailer now we know from looking that a delivery fee on a horse is three hundred dollars per horse the leasing cost on this is eight hundred and sixteen dollars now if I'm gonna buy eight horses which would cost me $40,000 eight times three is 24 that's twenty four hundred dollars in delivery fees I would pay the eight hundred and sixteen dollars and lease this trailer and haul them myself because I can save money if I'm only getting two horses that's only six hundred dollars in delivery fees as opposed to eight hundred dollars for leasing this trailer it's going to cost me more to lease this trailer than it will for me just to have them delivered but I'm going to spend the extra money this time just so I can give you an example of how this all operates so if I lease this trailer like so and I've got it at the store and I'm gonna need a tractor or something to pull this particular piece of equipment with actually no I'm gonna grab the fence because it's faster and make sure I drop the right piece of equipment <laughs> and I actually think I'm gonna drop off this front loader for right now too although I am gonna need it I'll just keep it what the heck 
So I'm going to run to the store. I'm going to grab our horse trailer. And I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to hook up to my horse trailer right about now. Got it right there. Now, I look at my map. I'm looking for the animal dealer. It's always this little chicken with a dollar sign underneath it. You can kind of see right there. And I will tag that. I do know where it is, but I'm going to tag it anyway. And now I just have to run this trailer over to the animal dealer to buy my horses. Not too far away. Just up the hill. And this applies to all animals except for chickens. You can buy all of your animals at the animal dealers. Depending on the map, if you're using a modded map, sometimes um, people will split animal dealers so you can only buy certain animals at certain places, things like that. But generally speaking, most maps have a standard animal dealer where you can just go and pick up your animals. And one, <laughs> one common feature of animals dealers is they always have this big cow standing out in front. Just a lovely big cow statue. Very cool indeed. And if I come around back, there should be a loading area. I just have to find it, because I don't think I've actually ever... Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's right here next to the cattle chute. There we go. Now, as I pull my trailer in here, I can open the tailgate. I don't even have to do that, but it's a nice little function of this trailer. Very cool, we get to see the train go by. I love trains. Now I hit R to open my animal dialog box, animal dealer dialog, and I can see I've got all of these different, all these different uh, animals that I can purchase. But this trailer wouldn't hold anything but horses. Now, as far as horses go, you've got eight different options. Gray, Pinto, Palomino, Chestnut, Bay, Black, Seal Brown, and Dun. Personally, I like the Pintos, so I'm going to get one of those. Now, keep in mind, these are just colors, purely aesthetic. They don't change the horse in any way, shape, or form except how it looks. So purchase whichever horses you like. It doesn't matter. I think I'll just grab a chestnut. And now you can see we're only spending $10,000. $5,000 a piece for each of these horses. If I hit confirm. Now you can see I've got my horses loaded up in there. And all we have to do is get them back to the farm. So let me run these horses down to the farm and I will see you at our brand new horse paddock. All right, we are back at the horse paddock and I am just rolling around now. Remember where our dealer dialogue box was back here on the back side. And if I roll up in here, again, I can open the trailer if I want to. If I want some added realism, I can even go open this gate right here. And actually, I can just do it from here. So if I open the animal dealer dialogue now, I've got my two horses and my big master western WCF. So if I move these two, they're going to the farm. Confirm. And now we've got two lovely new horses in our brand new horse pasture. Close the gate. We're going to go back to the shop to our garage, to our leased items, and I'm going to return this horse trailer. Okay, now that we've got our horses, what do we have to do? Well, they're gonna, they're gonna tell us, in a manner of speaking. The first thing we need to do is provide them with some water. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to go back again to our shop and instead of animal transport, now we're going to look at animals. 
the first thing we see here is an Aquatrans 7300S S tank trailer. It holds 7300 liters of water and this symbol is just water so it will only carry water. We're going to need to buy one of those. Now other items in this particular menu we have this is called a forage mixer and this makes food for cattle the same with this silo king this war z is a bale grinder so if we had made straw bales with the straw we collected we would need one of these bale grinders to unpack the bale so that we can put it in the pen for bedding and that's what all of these are this primer right here this is the same thing it's also a bale grinder or a bale shredder really is what they're called bale shredders and then we've got two larger tankers and these collect milk they actually do milk or water but we don't need that much trailer we just need this little joskin so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that like so I'm gonna to run to this to the shop and grab it and I'll see you when I get back and as you can see I'm just coming back into the farm with our brand new water tank now one of the good things about this particular farm is we have a water location already built into it it's this tank right here and if I pull up my trailer up next to this tank like so it's going to give me the option to start filling so I hit R and this begins filling up with water and we're just going to wait because it doesn't fill exactly quickly <laughs> but it is filling a little over halfway okay so now I just need to bring my water tanker over to my pasture and we know this is our water trough right here and once I get there it's going to give me the option or the trigger to unload water so I do that and it fills up the water trough you could kind of see that filling up you can see the water in there now I'll tell you I'm just gonna leave this trailer right here because when they need more water I can just come and hook up it's already full I can just load more water okay now that we have water in there we're gonna to need to get them some food and let's take a look at another menu that's gonna help us out with this now if we go to our main menu we've got a little cow here if we click on the cow it's gonna show us the animals that we have and it's gonna break them down by what location they're in so we've got the horse paddock and we can see they've already named these horses one is named peach and the other is named daisy well i don't like the name peach so i can rename this horse to plum now we have plum and daisy i don't like daisy since we've got them in the field right now we're going to call that horse sunflower <laughs> anything you want it really doesn't matter I'm just being a little bit silly now if we look at a horse we can see that they have three different bars determining their health the first bar is exercise level how often have they been trained in exercise the second bar is their health how healthy are they well right now sunflower is at 99 percent healthy and how clean is this horse well sunflower is perfectly clean 100 percent now on the right hand side of this we'll see what we need to provide sunflower to thrive so we've already given water we also need straw but we also need food types and horses take oats and hay 
Now, if we look down here, we can see that oats provide a 60% effectiveness. And that will affect the horse's health. Hay provides 40% effectiveness. So we need to give them both, oats and hay, to get them to 100% effectiveness. Now, we're waiting on our oats to come in, and they will come in today. But, remember our hay bales left over from yesterday, or from the last ep um, from the last uh, thingamajigger? <laughs> the last uh, episode, if you will. Last part. Well, I just happen to have them sitting right over here, and all I have to do is grab a hay bale, bring it right over here to the feed trough, and it automatically drops in and you can see that that food trough now has hay in it. If we go back to our animal menu we can see well we've only filled halfway the bar is yellow which means caution you're getting a little bit low on food so we'll just grab another hay bale and do the same thing I didn't grab that very well, but it'll work. And there we go. Now we have a completely full food trough. Now keep in mind also that I've given them water and I've given them hay. They still need straw. Once these are completely full, this will last you 10 full days. Don't let them go that long. You know, keep up on them but it will last 10 days. Now the next thing we need, we don't have our oats in yet, but we do have straw. If you remember when we harvested our wheat at the very, very beginning, we put straw in our silo. So I'll grab my trailer, like so, run it up under the silo and grab our straw. I don't remember how much we had. Probably a pretty decent amount though. Let uh, me just click through. There we go. Oh yeah, we had, gosh, we had almost 20,000 liters of straw, so that's a goodly amount. That'll last our horses a long time. We won't need all of that. Okay, so I just filled up the trailer just to make sure I have enough. And back to the horse pasture we go. Horse paddock if we want to be really technical. And I'm just going to pull in. Remember I said this was the straw fill area right here. And I will just pull in until I get the trigger. This trailer will start dumping. And you can see if you watch the pen, it starts filling up with straw. And yeah, look at that. We use less than 2,000 liters. But the horses now have full straw bedding. Outstanding. So, as it stands, right at this moment, we have absolutely everything we could possibly give our horses. Now, when the oats come in, the first thing I will do when I harvest them is feed them or fill up the horse pasture with oats. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, I will teach you a little something else about horses. after I put my trailer away. And I don't know why, but I always like to park trailers right over here next to the shed. I always felt that it was silly to have a shed for trailers. Like, I've never had a trailer in real life that ever sat anywhere but outside. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Don't care. I park my trailers outside. <laughs> That's what the Harv does. Okay, now with horses, they require exercise. How are we going to do that? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to open our gate. And you don't even have to open the gate. If you walk up to your horse, it gives you the option to ride. If I hit E, it's going to saddle plumb up for me and be ready to go. Now, you steer these horses just like you do with anything else. <laughs> 
left and right. And Plum does not recognize that the gate is open. That's interesting. I've never had that happen before. Oh, there we go. She made it through. Now there are four speeds to a horse. There is walk, trot, canter, and gallop. Now, unlike a tractor, you don't have to hold down your forward key. You just tap it once and it will speed the horse up to that speed. And at this point, and we can actually jump also with the space key. See, very nice jump horse. Now, exercising a horse, it does not matter what speed you go at. If you just want to walk them, you can walk them. But you have to do this every single day. And you can see right here, Plum has a daily riding score. Right now it's at 20%. You have to do this for each horse. Now, if you recall, when we bought these horses, they were $5,000. The minute we put them into our pasture, the price dropped to less than $3,000. But if you ride your horse every single day, and that will reset at midnight, in 10 days time, make sure you feed and water them appropriately too. But in 10 days time, they will be worth $50,000 a piece. So horses are very, very valuable farm commodity. And they can be just fun to ride, especially through a field of sunflowers. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> and so you just keep your horse out. Riding through our field of sunflowers. Or anywhere you want. You can ride your horse all over the map. You don't have to keep it on the farm either. If you'd rather ride a horse than drive a tractor, be my guest. We can see that Plum is now at 43%. So yes, you're going to do this for every single horse that you have. Now, this generally takes about five minutes per horse. So 10 horses, that's going to be 50 minutes. That's almost an hour. If you've got 16 horses, you're looking at about an hour and a half just riding the horses every day. So keep that in mind. One thing that I've done in the past is to stagger my horses so every other day I would buy say I've got eight in this pasture every other day I would buy two horses and then they would get on a rotation so once they're ready to sell I'd sell two of them and gain a hundred thousand dollars buy two more and then two days later I'd sell the next two make a hundred thousand dollars buy two more and just keep rotating them that way so i've got a stream of income instead of one big bulk payment at the end but that is horses again we do need to get some oats in we can look at our animals plum is only at 70 percent right now now you'll see her cleanliness level is going down as we ride we're going to address that here in just a minute. Health is still good. Exercise is at 5%. This will go up every day that you ride the horse. So we are just going to keep this horse on the move for a couple more minutes and get that daily riding percentage all fixed up. And I'm kind of hoping our crops come in here pretty quickly. Come on, little sunflowers. And we're at 82%. And it is rather nice just taking a leisurely stroll around the farm on horseback. Gives you a different perspective. You can actually see just a little bit better. Now in this video, I'm only going to touch on horses and I will tell you exactly why because I have tutorial videos already made on all five animals, what to do, how to take care of them, and how to make money with them. 
and they're all in their own special playlist called Animal Care. You can find, if you click the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now, um, you'll be able to see all of those tutorial videos. Any animal that you're interested in pursuing. And we just about got Plum back to where. <laughs> Slow down, Plum. And actually, you know, you don't have to open this gate or anything. If you just want to get Plum up to a nice, well, at least a canter. Plum is actually talented enough to jump this fence. Okay, and if we hit E, we'll get back off the horse and it will show us that Plum is back in the stable. Now, if we look at Plum, we can see Plum is dirty. So if we walk up next to Plum and click, we can brush her and you'll see that dirt come off. And now Plum is perfectly clean. There we go, cleanliness right back up to 100%, just a couple brushings after we've done the exercise. And look at that, our crops are ready. So I'm going to grab some oats. I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to do a row of oats and then put those into the animal pen just so my horses are fully fed properly. And then we're going to talk about these sunflowers over here. Because this harvester as it stands right now will not harvest those sunflowers. We need a special piece of equipment for that. And that's what we're going to discuss in just a minute. And I definitely want to make sure that I've got my straw swath turned on because I definitely want more straw. There we go. And like I said, I'm just going to do this one row and turn right back around and give these oats to our horses. That was the whole point of me asking you to plant this field with oats because I knew we were headed for horses. Almost there. And this field might provide just enough oats for those horses too. The entire field, I mean. But we're going to get them some right now so that they're fully fed. And I think I should be able to just tip these right straight into that feed pen. Yep, there they go. Okay, yeah, so they're going to need a lot more oats. I'm sure they'll take pretty much this whole field of oats. But again, keep in mind, that is going to last you for 10 days. So there you go. There's an introduction to animals and how to take care of them. Each animal is a little bit different. They have different food requirements. They have um, different needs, different methods of cleaning. But yeah, check out, check out my uh, animal tutorials. If there's any animals you're particularly interested, I'm pretty sure I've covered all the basics there. Okay, now as far as this particular harvester goes, like I said, as it stands, it will not harvest sunflowers. Well, what do we do? Well, for sunflowers and corn, we need a special header. And they all fall under corn headers. So in our shop, if we go to corn headers, we're going to see these, what are called row crop headers, really. They're designed to split rows and cut and grind them. And we need one for our harvester. And this one says right here for the Activa 7347S. So we know this Capello corn harvester, corn header is built for our machine. And if you look down here, you can see that it will harvest corn and sunflowers. Six meters wide. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. So if we go in here, 
It's a nice massy Ferguson color. Just make sure it's massy. Even though it's going to cost us an extra 600 bucks. But, yep, we are going to buy that. And now I am going to run up to the store with my harvester because it'll be easier for me to attach even though it's a bit slower. But I will see you when we get when I get to the store. Okay, so as I pull into the store, I can see my header sitting here on the ground waiting for me to come by. And I will just pull up to it like I would anything else and attach that thing. Now what's nice about these corn headers is a lot of the time they're very compact like so. So they're easy to transport and they unfold like so. That's pretty slick. So I'm going to run back to the farm and I'll see you there. Okay, pulling back into the farm, I'm just going to head straight for my sunflower field. I'm going to unfold my header, like so. And I'm sure you can figure out the rest of this. This is no different than any other harvest. It just requires a different header. If I turn that bad boy on, and just start down the field, like so. We're going to harvest up some sunflowers. And this will be a good sale crop. This will make us a nice bit of money. So you've got a brief introduction to animals. You know where to find more information when and if you want it about other types of animals. And you've been introduced to alternative crops and what it requires to plant and harvest them at this point. I think that's going to do it for part 7 of the Ravenport walkthrough for beginners. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, take care.